You may have seen a robot walking or having a conversation with people before, but this humanoid robot can play chess, serve tea, walk, balance on one leg, and even give you a massage. So I can definitely feel the change in pressure apply when the robot is massaging me. I mean, it's not as comfortable as the one by a professional masseuse, but it definitely relaxes my muscles and eases my stress. After getting a free massage, it's time for a cup of coffee. This robot makes lattes, americanos, and cappuccinos. It even adds a tulip flower leaf or swan in the milky foam of your latte. Your beverage is ready in about 70 seconds. Well, for a coffee made by a robot, I'm giving it four out of five stars. Even though the taste isn't rich as one from a cafe, the milky foam is delightfully creamy. I love it. AI can also be seen in the healthcare industry. This system helps pathologists score tumor cells and immune cells for a biomarker. Which has potential to help inform immunotherapy-based treatment decisions for bladder cancer. By using a 3D holographic visualization system, another device is able to assist surgeons to improve efficiency and safety of surgical procedures. On the other side of the venue, this digital device, which uses optical character recognition technology, creates a multi-dimensional and immersive experience. So by wearing this device on your neck and writing down a location on this tablet, you will be magically transported to the location. You can smell the peanut cakes made in Qingdao Town and the magnolia flowers in downtown Shanghai. The company said the technology is being used at a theater to provide people more immersive and fun experiences. AI products and services are making life easier in many aspects. Especially during the pandemic, where social distancing and non-contact communication are required. However, it's still expensive. There's a talent shortage in the industry, plus trust and security remain hurdles. All of these will need to be addressed if AI is reach its potential. Zhang Yue, Shanghai Life.